YouTube, what is up guys? Today, I have the Hummingbird by Yo-Yo Friends up for an unboxing and review. So this Yo-Yo's been out a while, but I'm finally getting my hands on one. So, let's check it out. Alright guys, here is the standard Yo-Yo Friends box. We got the Hummingbird sticker right there. Just your black box. It's been opened several times. This was sent to me from Tom over at Throws and Bruce. He recently did a review of this as well. So if you want to see somebody else's perspective review on it, make sure to go check out his um, video. And not sure if it, nor it probably normally comes with a string too, but just your foam padded box. But look at this colorway. I mean, the fade from the like orangish to the purple it just looks really, really nice. Here it is next to a couple of yo yo's we got here. We got a Rain City Skills mitten, we got a Ridgeline. We got a uh, Yo-Yo uh, Factory pivot, uh, which is a pivot. <laughs> we got the most random Yo-Yos out today. We'll put the specs on the screen. Oh uh, yeah, but it feels really nice. Uh, blasted finish right here. We get little Yo-Yo Friends laser engraving, which looks stunning. And this is a bimetal, so. So those of you that are scared when I take it apart, chill out. It's, or it's a bimetal. I mean, not a bimetal. It's a B-grade. It's a bimetal. It's a B-grade. And a bimetal. A bearing is fairly easy to come out. I like that. Snug fit, but still fairly easy to pop out. Center track bearing. All that good stuff. Stainless steel axle. Probably the original pads. Uh, clear pads. Very worn. Well, not like bad worn, but broken in for sure. I like that. I like that. Nothing like a well broken in throw, huh? So normally these videos I play with a yo-yo right after I get it, like and it's brand new. This one's cool because it's like already broken in and probably gonna feel perfect. So um, we'll see how the vibe is and stuff. But just as far as like the shape, the size, the looks of it, uh, I am really impressed with it. That looks really nice. Um, just the way, that, like, also too, this feels perfect. I feel like it would be very easy to catch your finger. Um, but not, like, I don't know, nothing that gets in the way or any, you know what I mean? It's very cosmetically nice, too. Thumb grind lip. Uh, literally looks like it can handle whatever. And so, yeah, we could talk about it all day or we could do what these are. videos are really about. Go play with it. All right, guys, we are all strung up here. Excellent finger spinning yo-yo. Definitely your competition throw. You know, very fast, very nimble, very long spinning, stable. Really checks, check marks all the boxes of this one. Now, I played one of these before at what contest? I can't remember. It was like Illinois States or something. Somebody was like, hey, Dylan, can I check out that yo-yo? So I gave them the yo-yo I was using, and uh, they swapped me, you know, and I played with their yo-yo while they were testing out whatever yo-yo I was using at the time or whatever. And, uh, yeah, so I already knew this thing is really good. Um, I'm really more excited to play it for 5A because I've never played with it 5A. So we're going to keep this 1A portion short and sweet. But yeah, this really is like like a great competition yo-yo. It's like perfect sized. It's just the response is really, really good. It's fast. I have terrible string tension right now because that stupid finger spin. But yeah, even though this one's a B grade, it like still grinds like Phenomenally. Granted, this one is broken in and stuff, because, like, this was sent to Tom, and then Tom sent it to me, so quite a few of us have used this, and, uh, yeah, so it's, it's a little, you know, broken in and everything, but, I mean, it's still, like, freaking perfect. And the amount of vibe for it to be a B grade is, like, really, really minimal. Yeah, but definitely your long spinning competition throw. This yo-yo has been out for a while, and people still use it to compete with all the time. I know, um, like, Ollie Westrich kills it in competitions with this yo-yo. 
and a lot, a lot of other players as well. But you know, it's just like perfect. And I think there's even like a new hummingbird coming out if it's not out already. So be on the lookout for that thing. But yeah, let me go grab some dice because I'm actually more excited to play with this 5A. I never tried it for 5A, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, we got our dice here, and here goes nothing. Okay, I might have found my new favorite 5A yo-yo. This thing is <laughs> intense. It's, I actually, yeah, I definitely like it even more for 5A than I do 1A. Granted, I, I do really like it a lot for 1A, but I don't know. There's something about like when you're, uh, when you play 5A with a bimetal, it's like you're tempting with the dark side of the force and something about that. Uh, just quite appealing. <laughs> but no, literally this thing feels perfect, both 1A and 5A. And yeah, this yo-yo's been out a while, but it definitely, definitely holds up. Like, this yo-yo, for sure, uh, holds up to just to anything coming out now. And I think they are coming out with the new Hummingbird. But I mean, yeah, I can see why people still use this to compete with nowadays, because since the time it came out, it, I mean, it's just as damn good today as it was back then and it wasn't even that long ago but yeah very excited to see what else yo-yo friends comes out with and if you're a 5a player and you have one of these and you've never thrown some dice on it throw some dice on it this thing really really kills it um so thank you guys for watching thank you uh everybody at yo-yo friends i'll put uh their social media links down below and all that good stuff and thanks for watching peace